Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Super Wrestling Federation's Saturday Night Power Slam. Take a look at this big man. We've only seen him a handful of times, but he's made quite the impression on the SWF and the fans alike. The, the deadly disaster, Volcano. I'm interested to see how he does in singles action tonight. One half of the deadly disaster's Volcano taking on one half of the impact solution. Kennedy Sinclair. This should be a most interesting singles competition. This young man, Kennedy Sinclair, has completely reinvented himself since he started here. When he first got here, he had that curly hair, the yellow singlet, a bad attitude. He was stuck in the senior year of being a high school wrestling captain. But now he's in the big leagues. Now he's in the fastest growing professional wrestling company, a national superstar within their professional wrestling galaxy, the SWF. Volcano, one half of the Deadly Disasters is not going to be in the upcoming SWF Tag Team Championship Tournament. He's been highly vocal about this. He's been visibly upset. He's been in management's office many times, ranting, raving. We know that when he was on the independent scene and he was wrestling on the Fiji Islands, he was wrestling in Hawaii, he was wrestling in Tonga, he was popular. Many referred to him as a big fish in a little pond but now he's here in the SWF he's got the ego as big as the big island he believes that he should have been owed that opportunity that he deserves it he feels he's Omega star and he's not being properly treated as such I don't know how well that attitude is going to get him here at the SWF I don't know how far it's going to get him or I don't know what he expects from it but we've got many many superstars on this roster there will be plenty of opportunities. I don't know why Volcano and Hawaiian Steve were not chosen as a tag team in this tournament. But I assure you it's not personal. I don't know what his angle is. I, I think that he just has a big head. And I don't mean physically. I, I mean metaphorically. The guy is very full of himself. He thinks the world of himself. And that's a great attitude if you channel it the right way. If you use it in a way where you feel that you're owed and everyone does everyone needs to give you everything then no you're not going to get very far if you use it to push yourself to win matches to build alliances to fight against things that you don't feel that are right or fair things that are wrong then sure you could definitely work your way through superstardom you can even become the SWF world champion someday but right now this young man's got a bad attitude and I think that's going to be his downfall if he doesn't grow and change soon but right now he seems to be doing alright for himself as he hits Kennedy Sinclair with that devastating powerbomb However, his opponent tonight, Kennedy Sinclair, one half of the Impact Solution with Blue McNulty, they are in the SWF Tag Team Championship Tournament that will be coming soon. Since realizing that they were not going to be in the tournament, Volcano has gone out of his way to pick fights backstage with members of tag teams that are in the tournament. He's already had a match with Ed Trout. He was victorious, and that's great for him. And right now he sets his target on Kennedy Sinclair. Sinclair with a beautiful lariat taking down Volcano. Oh, right across the chest. Down goes Volcano. Now down goes Sinclair. Signifying the end is near thumb right across the throat. Wait a second. Could it be time for a torture rack. Wait a second. Oh, oh Volcano Bomb. It's got to be over. It's all over! Volcano wanting to show the world that he deserves to be in the Tag Team Tournament! I still don't know why he wasn't, but I know that we only have so many slots available. But man, is he on a mission! If he could keep this kind of momentum going, he could do anything.